Hey everyone, just a quick preamble to say this video is part two of a vlog from week commencing 16th of September 2024. I had to split the vlog up into two videos because my editing software kept crashing every time I tried to export the whole video. So this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, I'll put a link a card up in the top right corner so you can go and click on that and watch that now. Anyway, this video is the match that I talked about at the end of that first video. So let's get on with it and take a look how I got on. Okay, on to the next match. I didn't actually film uh, an opening introduction to this match, but this is another GA Snooker uh, individual league match against, uh, well, his, his name's David, but he's known amongst the players as Uncle David because he's, I think he's actually uncle to several of the players. Uh, but he's a very nice man and, uh, can, as you can see, can pot a ball very well. Um, I do have to give him, well do I have to, I mean, because of the handicap situation, he gets a 14 point head start. What a fleet this is going to be. Yeah, he does get a 14 point head start with each frame. So a little bit different to the last match where I got a 7 point head start. So can I manage to catch David and overtake him? Pretty happy with that shot. Nicely on this brow with a red up by the yellow. Just a simple case of getting on that one. Hit that one a bit hard though. I was aiming to get on the brown, but I mean I am on the brown, but I'm on the wrong side of the brown. But the brown goes in, but I couldn't afford the couldn't avoid the yellow. Never mind. Anyway. Next chance supposed to be as well. Tap on the table from David, thank you very much. So I've got my handicap back, so 15 all. Another nice pink. Mm, a bit of an awkward rest shot this one. Still don't look comfortable using the rest. Stretching my legs a little bit here. And nice double sort of safety shot. But that is an impressive pot from David. Tap on the table for me. What can he wrestle up here? Can he you know, take this pink on? He is, he wasn't far away. Oh, he nearly went in off though. Nah, just a safety shot for me, trying to get onto the ball cushion. Played that pretty nice, to be fair. Do you get a chance? Thread the needle, oh, and it just stays out. A bit awkward, trying to avoid the push shot this one. So do most to get that in. Can I cut this, this black in? It's very delicate, and it does just drop in. Tap on the table from David. I thought I'd mess filming this up because I've got my camera settings roll, uh, which, you'll, which you'll see me complain about at the end of the match, but uh, it's not too bad. I did manage, I did have to do some fairly significant colouring. Uh, oh, how did I miss that? That's shocking. I did have to do some fairly significant colouring. Oh, that is a nice sneaker. Anyway, I did have to do some fairly significant colouring to get it to look really, really decent, but there is quite a big bright spot. So I zoomed in on that because I did hit that red, but David didn't see it, so I did have to uh, uh, Yeah, I felt bad because he hadn't seen it, and I, you know, I didn't want him to think I was trying to rob him with points. But anyway, it didn't matter because he got that red in after, so he still you know, had a chance. But he was playing the pink there and he missed it. That is a shame. So that is six to me. And that is a nice long pot. About the best I've viewed in a while. And again. Almost forgot I was going for the yellow again then. Way off at that time. 
machine you sleep it and a couple of shots later just about get a snooker here I thought the white had just drifted past the black enough uh, to make it uh, to, you know to, to, to foil the snooker if you like just got enough and then David couldn't quite get any side on it to get to the yellow but we play on so that's a good yellow then he so oh, unlucky, very unlucky, so confession there from David. My break in the next frame, again another nice break, put a lot of left hand side on that one and it's worked out really nicely, again generous tap on the table from David, but this safety shot from David that gets tap on the table from me, because that would be good and just ask him if he wants a drink, he didn't want a drink, but to me, that gets the first point chance, and that cannon on the black did not work out how I'd foreseen it. But the pink is there, and I'm pretty happy with that shot. But does the pink go on its spot, and therefore block? It doesn't go on its spot, so I can get through to this red. Just about dropped. Needed to commit more to that. So that was end of break, so David gets the next chance. Well, does he take this brown on or does he roll up for a sneaker? He goes for it, fair play to him, doesn't get it though. But he does get the next chance. Plays that nicely. Just about hold for the pink, but I'm not sure that actually the pink passes those reds. So he just tries to play a containing safety, and it does pretty well, and it leads to another chance for him. And this time he does manage to get on the pink nicely. Can he pop it? So hangs his head. Unfortunately, it was nicely on the red to the middle, which I can catch while I'm on. Force my way around the angles, playing for the blue. I think I'm just about on it. Yeah. Just over hit it slightly though, drifted past the I mean, it's okay, but I feel as I'm going to be a bit straighter, but actually, not too bad. Just about how long, not going in off. And there's another nice blue, and really happy with that positional shot. You just just could have done with a little bit more on that, just to get this, make this blue a little bit straighter. And uh, yeah, just, just a bit disappointing my angle, shake of the head there. Angle's a bit more, a bit thinner than it perhaps looks on the TV, on the video, but still. There's no excuse, should not be missing that shot. And that was a chance to make a couple there. There was a couple of reds in the open, but never mind. Good red from David. But couldn't capitalise, but he gets the next red. Now, is this white going to run and get on the black? It looks it to me, but does it pass the pink? It doesn't. But it's a nice blue nonetheless. I get this red in. Not quite, but safe enough. And after a few safety shots, he gets the next chance. Just a little unlucky there, not to push past the other side of the green for the blue. That is a pretty nice pot on that blue, nonetheless. Just doesn't want the cue ball to go in. No, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, that was end of break though, and which led at some point to this shot. Took that on because there was no real red, you know, no chances um, leaving much, so but I couldn't capitalise. Again, David keeps going with another red. There was a pretty handy potter along the cushion, but he didn't quite manage to get that brown. So eventually, I get this chance. 
nicely on the black. Can I just screw back slightly for the next red? Oh, I don't need to screw back. I, I do. I need to screw back more than slightly for the next red, and then play that pretty well. Just could have done with being a bit further off the table, but uh, into the middle of the table. Not, again, just not. Shouldn't be missing that shot. And not only that, I leave David an easy red to start with a fairly easy positional shot on the black. But he misses the black. Nearly goes in off, just about hangs onto the pocket edge. And which lends, leads me to have that chance on the yellow. Can't avoid the blue though. So just a long green, which I don't get. Uh, somebody must have pointed the green. Maybe it was me that pointed the green. I must have cut that shot out. Apologies for that. Um, yeah, that was a chance there to, uh, I mean, not win the frame, but put David under more pressure. Instead, he manages to get a very good safety shot. I don't think it's quite a snooker. It might be, actually. It is a snooker, so I'm having to play off the cushion. And I get absolutely nowhere near it. I mean, not even close. I had a fair bit of room for error as well. Needed to take more time over that. I mean, it wasn't frame ball, but it, it could have been frame ball. And again, just needed to take a bit more time over that. As I said, it wasn't frame ball, but it would have made a fair bit of, put a bit of pressure on David. As it is, he could, he slots that in nicely. It wipes his feet, but it still goes in. But he's not good on the pink, so it was just a safety. But never mind. And then he gets this shot. Plays another lovely safety shot. It ends up being snooker. It's a risky one because the pink was going always going over the pocket. But he has managed to get cover with the black. So what can I do here? Can I hit this and get it safe? Kind of hit it to start with. Oh. Can I, but can I hit it and get it safe? Well, I could get to it without going off the cushion. Well, that's something at least. And, you know, would have taken that to start, you know, would have taken that. But, well, David steers that pink in and takes the second frame. Really, really nice potting at the end there, but, you know, that was a. That was one that got away. Anyway, third frame. David to break. Just catches the blue. Puts the blue safe on the bot cushion. Or safe fish anyway. So it's not safe for long because he's on it after putting that and red with the rest. Very good pot. He does indeed pot it, so at least it's back on its spot. But obviously that was in the break, so he's quite far from the red. I played for, but played it as a shot to nothing, and again didn't, you know, should have maybe committed to more to it. And I wasn't far from that green, but now it's my turn to put the blue in its spot. Left this safety shot in, I was pretty pleased with the, the line I got here. Nearly a double kick, but it was uh, pretty impressive, if I do say so myself, and led to a chance. Really, pretty straight on this black, so just roll it in and take the point. No, I tried to force it in and get on a red. I wasn't a million miles away, but probably should have rolled it in and take the point. Because then David was able to do that. He's on this blue as well, to the middle. I was 
close, lucky. So, a few shots later, when I get a chance here. Again, just overcooked it a little bit, but probably better to overcook it than undercook it, because I'm now, I'm definitely on the right hand side of the blast here, um, the right side of the blast rather, but, and, I don't know, I don't know whether I overcooked that or undercooked it, I think either way, it was just not good. But eight points. Need to do some scoring, so eight points is good, but does does leave unstead with this pot and doesn't manage to get very well on a colour though. So just the yellow is the pot or just a safety shot maybe. And then he goes to the pot and it's a very good one. Top of the table for me now, yeah, as I said, does the yellow cover this red, it doesn't so he's just playing a round the angle safety shot and he's played it pretty well. That cue ball is nicely tucked under the block cushion. Then Leeds didn't have, I mean it was only a half chance really, but he popped that really nicely. Nice bound as well. He got that one a bit thin though. But it's okay, I mean, there is a pot on, but I didn't, it wasn't able to take it. And then David had this very awkward, cumbersome looking rest shot, which he dispatches pretty nicely. Now he's playing a safety here. No, he goes to the pot, he wasn't far away, but he does catch the yellow, uh, which means it stays relatively safe. This is a bit of an epic frame, this one. So uh, I think it, it lasted almost an hour in real time. So I'm on this brown. I need to stun over for the red to the middle, but I just... Well, the brown goes in, but only just. And I got nowhere near where I wanted the cue ball to go. Just massively decelerated on that. That is a nice pot off the cushion from David, and he's nicely on this black. And another nice pot as well. Now these reds are planted to the middle. And they weren't far off. And he's got a nice lead in the second frame. I'm struggling a little bit to catch up. Can't blame the handicap because he's, you know, more than a handicap ahead. But a couple of pots for me. Not exactly loads of points, but... I uh, left myself stupid as well. Thankfully I managed to hit it and get it safe. Well, I was going to be safe until that red hit the black. But anyway, he wasn't able to pot that. It leaves me to get this chance. But again, just losing the cue ball. So what do I take on here? Is it the brown in the middle? No, I take on the snooker. I play that pretty well. Missed, just missed the red as well. Just missed it and caught the blue. Pretty nice pot for me. Do I need to go far enough to get past the, yeah, just about get on the pink to the middle, but gotta go all the way up and down the table, or do I just, just take the points? Yeah, I just take the points, but I don't want to sneak myself, and I haven't sneaked myself. But anyway, that was end of break, but David has got a next chance. And he wasn't far from that pink. So I'm clawing myself back here, but still just behind. And here's an, but here's another really great, really happy with safety shot. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Snooker as well. Apologies if you can hear my parrot in the background. She's getting a bit agitated because I'm ignoring her. So yeah, David misses that. Gives me another four points. Oh, but he gets the next red. Oh, does he? No, he doesn't. What have I left this shot in for? Oh, it's because he, he gets the snooker after missing that red. Uh, but I do manage to hit it this time. And I get a little nice, little rub of the green there and a kiss off the blue. 
tap on the table from David, but it was generous because that was a bit of a luck there to get that space. Anyway, next red comes my way. Pink over the cushion, uh, over the pocket, so I knew it was always worth taking on. You know, and so that nice thing. Uh, can I land on this yellow? Well, I'm okay on it. I want to off the top cushion, on off the bolt cushion, back out for the yellow again, but I miss it. So David ends up putting the yellow, first yellow on the colours. But I'm, at least I'm in the league now. Not if he pots this green though. He, he doesn't go for the pot, he goes for a snooker I think. And he's not far off getting it as well. I think if he'd have got that snooker, I might have been in trouble. Easy. But it's me that manages to lay the snooker. but David manages to hit it. Very nice hit. I think the brown's covering the pot in the middle, but a few shots time and I do get this chance. And here it goes, but again, should have just, I, I was a bit worried about rolling it because the table rolls, rolls off a little bit, so I played it with pace. So I couldn't get on the brown, but a few shots later, get this shot on the brown. And played that nicely. Needs to come further, needs to come further. Oh, could have done with another another roll of the cue ball and I would have been alright. Then as David points out, that's where I wanted to be. Yes, that is where I wanted to be. But I just need just, just need this blue, so just concentrate. Cut this blue in, don't worry about anything else, as long as you don't go in off. But I don't even take it on. And I'll tell you why I don't take it on, it's because we got the scores wrong in the room and it was actually the scores appeared closer than they are on the scoreboard and I actually needed, at this point I needed blue and pink. Anyway, David's got a really nice speaker, but it's one of the easier ones, I don't mind these ones where there's not much angle to play with. So get that one okay. Pushed it towards the corner though, so there's a bit of a worry, but he doesn't manage to pot it. And eventually I get this chance for the blue. Now that is actually frame ball, but at the time in the room, I didn't think it was. At the time of the room, I needed the pink as well. And miss it, but then this happens. <laughs> nice handshake, nice smile from David. and. Oh man, I just realised I had my camera on the wrong setting for filming that match. I hope it's okay. I haven't reviewed the footage yet, but uh, I had it on activity rather than the preset I've got for filming the table, which is rather frustrating, which means it's probably going to be adjusting the light levels and maybe not quite as high resolution as it could have been. Never mind, but hopefully it still filmed it to enough that you can watch it. So yeah, um, feels like a fairly hollow victory that, I mean, I, I don't know how I lost. The, I mean, I won the first frame, pretty comfortably. I had a little bit of rub at the table again, but I was potting pretty well. I had a real good chance to make a high break and just fluffed a pot to the middle, which I would never miss in practice. I mean, not never, but almost never miss in practice and just fluffed it, just started to get excited about where the balls were and where, and that not necessarily about a high break there, but I could basically just put that frame to bed in that visit and then just fluffed my lines a little bit. Anyway, I still managed to win that relatively comfortably even after that. Second frame, I had a, I'm trying to remember, I think I had a middle pocket blue or brown, something like that. Oh. And uh, I missed it, Not, it wasn't a million miles away, but I was, you know, I just felt that it was the last red and I felt like I needed to get colour on it and I can't remember, no, no, maybe it wasn't the last red, maybe it was the actual end of the frame, yeah, it was. I think it was the blue at the end of the frame and I needed that to go in, okay, I can't remember, I can't remember, but anyway, I felt like I should have won that and once I'd missed that, whatever that decisive pot was, I'll put it on screen now, once I missed that, I kind of thought, well, I'm not going to win this frame and yeah, again, my mindset just didn't help and uh, lo and behold, I didn't win that frame, but that was not really in part to my fluffing it, that was some pretty good last pots there from uh, David, so fair play to him. Then, yeah, third frame, it just took me ages to get going. Now, I, like, he, um, 
he got off to a pretty good start. I think he'd had, he, he, you know, a 14 head start, and then I think he got to 20 plus before I scored a point. Uh, and then I, again, similar to my sort of last frame against Adam Law yesterday, is I was potting reds really well, but just struggling to get on a colour. And I also fluffed a couple of chances, which, which uh, you know, maybe not the chance, chances to make you look youthful breaks, but maybe chances to get red colour, something like that. And yeah, I was just sort of trying to claw things back and then I'd, I'd, I'd make a mistake and he'd get a, a red and a colour and yeah, just sort of be, it would be like, I would, I was gaining on him eventually, but I was just sort of like two, two steps forward and then he would take a step forward. It's like the old sort of tortoise and a hare kind of thing. I think and I just thought he was just going to get over the line before I managed to catch him. But then I managed to lay that snooker at the end, which I was pretty pleased with. Turned down a pretty difficult pot, but I managed to lay a snooker and thankfully he missed it. I laid another snooker later on, which he did hit, uh, but I think that left me a chance if I remember right. But then like what turned into a really great fight back sort of turned into a hollow victory because I did my own worst nightmare and I fluked the pink at the very end and well I went for it because it's all I needed uh it rattled the jaws I think in the pocket I went for and then rolled the full length of the table on the cushion and this table one of the sort of idiosyncrasies of this table and this is going to be our match table for our league play is that it kind of does stick to the cushions a little bit if you roll um sort of close to the cushion it sort of then sort of veers into the pocket and yeah flip the pink and it was you know i'm glad i won but it felt like a bit hollow at the end but it was too much needed points I'm not going to win this league but i'd like to get to the top half if i can that's my aim for the season i still got quite a few matches left but i've also got some pretty good players left to play and my handicap is also more difficult than it was last season so anyway that's going to be all for this video it's sunday afternoon i'm going to go home have some lunch and then i'm going to sit on the sofa watch the final of the english open and uh, edit some videos and maybe do other stuff so i'll see you in whatever next week's vlog turns out to look like